Hello colors, welcome back to Viva Bassa. Welcome to another interesting episode where we are going to be discussing on the latest transfer stories. We start with Nico Gonzalez as the Bassa midfielder will join Portuguese big wigs FC Porto in a 10 million euro deal on a four year contract. We are going to be discussing on that as we progress. Secondly, talking about um, Julian Araujo as the Barca defender is set to join Eurogiants FC Porto in a loan deal with buy option. Agreement with Barca is very close. We are also going to be discussing on that. So guys, as we get right into it, if you haven't subscribed, please endeavor to hit the subscribe button. If you're just coming across the channel for the very first time, you are highly welcome. Consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. Barcelona are on the verge of closing as many as two transfers in the coming days with Nico Gonzalez and Julian Araujo nearing exits. The former, in particular, is close to joining Portuguese side FC Porto and if a report from Sport is to be believed, the young star will be sold for just under 10 million euros with a buyback option. Nico 21 spent the previous season on loan at Valencia and the Blaugrana management has realized that considering the competition in midfield there will be no place for him in the squad for him in the upcoming season. As such the La Liga champions have now reached an agreement to sell him to Porto with a repurchase option included. The aforementioned outlet claims that the 21-year-old still sign will sign a four-year contract with Porto and it has only been made possible after the player gave his okay to the transfer. The delay from Porto's end happened because just like Barcelona, they are having problems while complying with the financial fair play implications. This is why they did not want a direct transfer. But now they have balanced the books they have chosen to sign him permanently and allowed Barcelona to insert a repurchase option wherein everybody is satisfied. The, of the official announcement of Nico's transfer to FC Porto can be expected in the next few hours. Meanwhile, anything related to Julian Araujo can take a significant amount of time. As of today, why it is certain that they would leave on loan the destination is not finalized. Last farmers were brought to be interested, but during Barca's talks with Porto, Araujo's name was brought up. The team from Portugal want to sign the right back, and there was a possibility of signing Sergio Dest as well, although Porto are more interested in signing Julian Araujo. Of course, we have started seeing some departures. Um, it's bit by bit who we'll sell the players that need to be sold. Hopefully, Nico Gonzalez, you know, have departed Barcelona finally. And of course, we don't know if he will ever come back again. But Barca have said that the repurchase option in that four-year deal with Porto. Uh, let's see how his performances will look like in the Portuguese Giants. Of course, Nico has been a player of great quality. He left La Masia two years ago alongside Pablo Gavi when Ronald Koeman was still in charge and you know had some good games but was not that consistent in his performances like the other young players and Javi came in used him for a while and he was eventually loaned to Valencia and of course his loan spell at Valencia last season did not help him at all he did not do him any good in terms of you know bringing him back to the to the first team setup and giving him a permanent place there as Charlie was convinced that, you know, the player still needs experience, he still needs a lot to learn. And before even leaving Barca, he had already met with Javi before the, the entire team left for preseason. Javi had already told him not to travel with the squad, but he should better sit and sort out his future and also opening up on certain things that the player needs to improve on in his game, which is very, very important, you know. So let's see how things go for him at Porto. Just hopefully he does well there. Not everybody comes from La Masia is meant to succeed. When you are integrated to the senior setup, there is no guarantee that you will be a successful player. There are many that are still talented, but they have never had that opportunity 
to make it to the senior setup and that is why there's there are always kind of problems 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 so let's see how it goes for nico because poto have been showing interest for a long time and from the look of things they have finally get their hands on german then moving on to the final story of discussion just a matter of hours after the reports of an agreement between fc Barca and fc poto over the transfer of nico gonzalez surfaced it appears the Portuguese giants are poised to sign yet another young star from Barca. Indeed, as per sport, Porto are now close to an agreement with Barca for the signing of right back Julian Araujo on a loan deal with a buy option. The 21 year old ace is also believed to have given the green light to the move. Araujo joined Barca late in the winter transfer window but was not registered as the club missed the deadline to file the appropriate paperwork. As such, he spent the second half of the season alternating training between the first team and the Barca Athletic without you know, playing any competitive football. Heading into the new season, it was always suspected that Araujo could be shipped out on loan considering that he has no experience whatsoever in European football. However, it was suggested that Xavi would be open to giving him a chance on the pre-season tour to the US. But earlier today, reports emerged claiming that Poto were interested in signing him on loan for the upcoming season and things have seemingly moved quite swiftly. The Portuguese giants are on the lookout for a new right back and even though there were some links to Sergio Nodes, they have narrowed in on Araujo as their preferred target. They broached the topic of the Mexican international during the talks for Nico, and an agreement is now understood to be close, with Porto getting their hands on Araujo on a loan deal with an option to buy. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.